The new Dynamax and Gigantamax mechanics aren't Pokemon Go. They aren't an addition to the game, no. They're a whole new game wearing Pokemon Go's skin. Let me explain. Unlike previous additions to the game, Dynamax, Gigantamax, and Max battles don't interoperate much at all with any previous mechanics, so they might as well be an entirely separate game. Fair warning, this entire video is just me complaining unconstructively. Feel free to wait for the next one if that bothers you. The root of the problem is this. Only Pokemon caught from Max Battles can be used in Max Battles. On top of this, the relative scarcity of Dynamax and Gigantamax Pokemon means that Pokemon caught from Max Battles are unlikely to be useful in the rest of the game. This means there's an entirely separate, parallel universe of Pokemon that are used for Max Battles. These new Pokemon only happen to look the same as your old Pokemon. Dynamax Grookey isn't really Grookey, and Gigantamax Charizard certainly isn't really Charizard. They are effectively separate from the rest of your Pokemon that are used for Go Battle League, raiding, and collecting. I'm kind of puzzled by the decision to not allow existing Pokemon to Dynamax or Gigantamax. If you already had a Hundo Metagross, it would be cool to now be able to use it in max battles. But instead, you have to find a Dynamax Beldum and do an entirely separate grind for a good one. In addition, almost the only purpose of Pokemon caught in max battles is to be used in other max battles, not in other areas of the game. The only connection between the max mechanics and the main game is shared candy and Candy XL. <clears throat> Previously, I feel that Pokemon Go did a good job of keeping its features cohesive. When new mechanics were added, they applied to previously caught Pokemon. For example, when raids were added, your existing Pokemon could be used for raids. There weren't special raid Pokemon that were specifically labeled to be used in raids. Another example, when Mega Evolution was added, your existing Pokemon could be Mega Evolved. There was no restriction to only Pokemon caught in Mega Raids. By expanding the possibilities for your existing Pokemon, these previous additions gave new life to old Pokemon and made the game as a whole feel like a cohesive and growing set of mechanics. Wild-caught Pokemon could be Mega Evolved, then used in raids. Raided Pokemon could be used in Go Battle League. Go Battle League could be played to earn rewards to improve Pokemon for raiding. Another example is Fusion, a feature that was introduced recently. While it was notably exclusive, difficult, and grindy endgame content, I would argue that Fusion still fit reasonably well into the existing game. Fusion uses existing Pokemon, and is compatible with things like Raids and Go Battle League. While I hated the naked cash grab that the fusion mechanic seemed to be, with its astronomical fusion energy costs, it at least felt like proper endgame content instead of a parallel game. The new Dynamax and Gigantamax mechanics are different. They don't fit in with existing systems at all. In fact, they are remarkably and completely disconnected from almost all existing mechanics. I'm not saying the new mechanics are bad, but they do lack in cohesion, failing to build on anything that already exists. I already mentioned the way that existing Pokemon aren't compatible with the new systems, but in addition to that, they've completely altered the combat system. The previous combat system was more or less shared between gym battles, trainer battles, and raids, but now a new, parallel one has been tacked on that shares almost no similarities with the old one. I've already said it too many times, but it's honestly kind of mind-boggling. Everything to do with max battles is different and nearly completely unintegrated with the rest of the game. I mean, I have a feeling that I know why they made this choice. Niantic wants a whole new grind to give bored players something to keep them engaged with the game. And only by making a clean break with previous mechanics is that possible. If you could use your old Hundo Metagross in max battles, then why would hardcore players need to grind and spend their money on max particles to do more battles? Let's not even start with the naked cash grab that is asking for 200 coins to get enough Pokeballs to reliably catch Gigantamax Pokemon after their grueling max battles. This is literally the price of two raid passes or an entire storage upgrade just for a higher chance of catching. Make no mistake, while the recent unreasonable difficulty of Gigantamax battles brought this topic to my mind, the difficulty of max battles isn't the issue, it's the way the new mechanic fits into the game that is the problem. Niantic has signaled that they're willing to rebalance Gigantamax difficulty to make it more friendly to players, but to me, this doesn't address the root issues with the new features. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I promise I'll return to more constructive content soon.
like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if this rant resonated with you. I'll see you next time.